snow, where Archibald Lampman, wider the far off plains, and wide the fading forest grow, the wind dies out along the hedge, and in the still the snow, gathering weight on roof and tree, falls down scag audibly. A road before me smooths and fills apace, and all about the fences dwindle, and the hills are blotted slowly out. The naked trees loom spectrally into the dim white sky. The meadows and far shaded streams lie still without a sound, like some soft mist of dreams, the snowfall hoods me round, and wood and water, earth and air, is silence everywhere. Safe when at lonely intervals, some farmer's slate, urged on rustling runners and sharp bells, swings by me and is gone. From the empty waste I hear a sound remote and clear. The barking of a dog, or call to cattle, sharply peeled, when echoing from some wayside stall or barnyard for a field. When all is silent, and the snow falls, setting soft and slow. The evening deepens, and the grey folds close to earth and sky. The world seems shrouded far away, its noises sleep, and I, as secret as you can bear its dream, plot dumbly on and dream.